Hi everyone, welcome to another Greenleaf Terrain Studio Update. As you can see, and if you've been following my Facebook, I had these guys upside down before I was putting on all this uh, sculpt mold on the bottom, and then adding in all their uh, wires for the uh, hanging down vines, putting in the pipes uh, that are going to be like um, jet engine exhausts to state for the guys who Space Brain dudes basically uh, built into it or someone built into it and then uh, it's got uh, stabilizers that's the idea with them and then there's going to be chains it was just easier to do it off so then there's connection points for these guys and there's little hooks little hooks that hook into them so I don't know mm, we can't really see any of them mm, I can't really see any of them there's a couple. There's enough for all those chains. And then there are a couple of these little floaty guys that I just need some more epoxy. And I'll jam these guys in the side of a couple of these dudes. So there are four of those. And yeah, so got this larger guy. They're gonna have clear and these holes down here for clear ac acrylic rods to be shot up for stabilization because they are wobbly. Wobbly Susan and the <laughs> and these ones need to definitely have their guy because they both just lean forward with the amount of sculpt molds on them. So that's why they're leaning against the wall. But then they'll have a stable guy that'll shoot up into them and stabilize them. This guy's actually not leaning on anything. He's got three three main guys, so he's pretty stable. Then there's a bunch of these guys, roots hanging down, exposed roots. And then we got this two-tiered one, exposed roots back there. Oh, I'm getting in the light. And so then, this is all for uh, mini wargaming. Uh, yeah. So the games, it'll be for 40k, are going to play on basically uh, two levels. This will be the floor level, and then it's all gonna be it's all flat because it's all like obsidian glass so that's why these guys are purpley and black and then so these are gonna be the glass structures that will be on the ground and the parts of the ground that are lifted up and they still have them will be on top and they have a satin finish so they got the semi gloss and that's about that and then that's just a, the test one got a little bit chipped when I was transporting back but I can fix that I have larger ones and then on my shelves back there I have tons tons more of these I think that there's almost 20 of them all together with the smaller ones and bigger ones some of them tear up different tiers and then there's going to be uh, just kind of rock outcroppings like this some of them angled for you can put miniatures on there then those guys can sit on top and that's basically uh, Part of the look that's going to go on these guys and if we go over here i have the, the i did test pieces because if i've never built anything before I'll, def I'll definitely do a test piece just to work stuff and since this is a local client i can go and check um check if things are all good and then come back so when i first went the idea for this um, root was colored kind of the same uh, three browns that I did with this guy and then dry brushed with a uh, dark sand but then we talked about foliage so this is my test foliage piece it's not actually it's not actually done so I just sprayed all the foliage with the blues oranges and a little bit of uh, yellowish orange so I could flip them upside down but then I can just uh, put little pieces down and make uh, low-lying creeping foliage and so then this is all the roots that would be coming down from that foliage. So I colored it the same just to play off the purples that are already there. And so then a couple of these hanging roots. And then you can see the test of one of these like smaller guys hanging off the side here. So I'm trying to get the lighting. I have random backlighting from the window, sorry. And then you can see the clear acrylic rod, uh, uh, <laughs> clear acrylic rod down there, 
and then so the, some this is done with a matte finish and then the satin finish has been hit uh, on the base and then on these guys and then on the tops here so you get this little variation a little bit of a gap there so then that will be the finish for all of these guys and pretty much I just need to go get a bit more black paint for base coating and then I'm good to go I'm gonna paint those um, chains up separately I gotta get a little bit more epoxy see my epoxy is almost out and then I can paint everything do all the clear, clear uh, <laughs> I can't say it clear acrylic rods and uh, then they'll be done and I can start working on those guys those guys are also going to get a whole bunch of uh, parts built onto them like the Imperium built onto them I have uh, the GW Bruin kits some Pegasus Hobbies kits and some I think they're micro art studios uh, Battle zone kits, mm, maybe the battle zone kits or rest of mine else. Anyways, I got a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna be using that'll be added on to those guys. But this is generally uh, the done for the build of these guys. Other than some of them are being held up with chains. Not all of them. There's just there's different stuff going on. Like not all of them have the uh, the pipe uh, stabilizers going on. Just to give some variation in the in the set and they also sit uh, at different heights so there'll be some will have bridges man-made bridges that go connecting the different heights but I will have more studio updates on this project as I progress with it so stay tuned for that and if you're looking for custom terrain builds or miniature painting commissions you can email me at greenleafterrain at gmail.com and I'll get back to you with a quote other than that thanks for watching please subscribe and happy wargaming